What's going on guys, Bao here with some Evil Bane, and I am playing this on Android if you guys are wondering, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. We're going to be trying the regular name, which most likely is going to be taken, and of course it is. So let's see, it doesn't tell you how many characters you can have, so let's try, and of course we can't have that many, so we'll just go like that, there we go. Alright, so we got a knight. Uh, it looks like there's going to be three classes you can actually choose from. We got HP, defense, uh, see what the other stats are, berserker. So attack's going to be insanely high on this one, although attack speed's really low. HP and defense are going to be about the same, and the other one is going to be an elven assassin. Uh, attack speed the highest, of course. Doesn't look like they have a mage. I would have went with that, of course, but uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about going with... I could probably go with the knight, but I think I'm going to go with the assassin. And there we go. Let's see if it actually starts. Alright. Not too sure what to actually expect. Although this download was actually pretty pretty big. I think it was like almost a gig, or it is a gig, to actually download this. Alright, we got the prologue. We're gonna skip most of the story unless we can actually skip it. It actually looks really good though. I mean some of the animation stuff like that can use some work, but uh, for the most part it looks pretty good. We're gonna skip all the story. I'm not too interested in the story, but it is a very story base game so you could probably follow that. Uh, use the D-bat control. Your character is going to be a lot harder to do since I am playing on the PC and I don't actually have a touch screen so I'm going to try to figure this out. And then we do have our attacks on the side. We are going through a little bit of a tutorial because we're in the prologue of course. So it's going to be showing us some stuff that we can't actually do yet. Like some of the skills and stuff like that, we're probably not going to have here in a minute. And it's showing us the attack button. It does attack pretty fast, this is the fastest one, so... And the skills are pretty good as well. More of the story, we do have an auto button. I'm going to be using it just because I'm not playing on a tablet and or phone so I can't actually control it properly so we're just going to use the auto and then you can use the skill buttons yourself basically. It doesn't actually throw you out of auto. We do have a combo up at the top as well and it does give us a crit rate boost. I'm not too sure if that's for every character like uh, certain characters might have different boost because we're an assassin so I'm guessing our crit should be a little bit higher than the other characters and that skill actually looked pretty sick so we've tried out three of them that one's like a blast of fire I don't know yeah they're just going through the story you do kind of have to watch these which kind of sucks I mean, skip those parts, but let's see. So I guess that's our special. It just shows up a big old, I don't know what that was, a giant? Uh, I'm not too sure what that was supposed to be, but it does show up when we actually use, I guess that's our special. I'm not too sure if that's what it is. Well, that was our last skill though, but. Their hands actually have no hands. I don't know if you noticed that when she went to hug him. She didn't have no fingers. It's just one big hand. So some of the stuff could actually use some better detailing. But for the most part, it, it is a mobile game. So we'll give it that. But it does look pretty nice. We got some stamina up at the top. Some coin. Looks like copper. Uh, that's the prologue. I guess we're actually getting into the actual story now. 
And it did look like they have diamonds and stuff like that. I don't know if those are the actual numbers, but that's crazy. 273k HP. I doubt those are the actual numbers to some of their characters. The Demon Lord. You can actually read all of that if you would like, but I'm not going to. Uh, currently don't have auto battle, so I'm guessing this is just going to be more of the actual story. There's the... I think it's the knight next to us, or is that the berserker? Oh, that was a guy we were falling around. I think he's a knight. And we have a... Oh, we have Lucifer appearing. Interesting. I thought it was just a demon, but it's actually Lucifer. And not too sure what storyline they're following, but uh, interesting. Yeah, it does look like it has a really good storyline, though. And you can actually play each character. Like, you can go through the three characters. I'm not too sure if each character has a different storyline, but uh, it would be a lot better if it did and you doesn't go through the exact same one for each of the characters. But we're still early on, so can't actually tell as of yet. It looks like this guy got destroyed, though. We got more of the story. And instead of fighting us, he summons somebody else. So we're gonna have to fight uh, another orc or I don't know what that is. It's got a tail and everything. Some of the character designs are really nice, but I don't know. Let's see, level one. And then we go into a little cutscene. So either you're about to kill them or like they're halfway dead in this case. And then it goes into an actual like little cutscene. So you don't get like a death animation or anything like that. And I'm not too sure what that was supposed to be. Is that like a power boost? Because that really didn't do anything. Yeah, it sounds like some sort of demon. On that one, and there is the and other cutscene, I guess. A little bit laggy, but it is bearable. And she died, passed out. Something happened here. We got to level two. Weapon, experience, orb. We are still going through the tutorial. It is showing us still more of the stuff, but... We have... what well, That's telling us to go back. We do have some stuff on the board. It looks like we have the shop, smithy... I guess the adventure's right there. The dungeon, I'm not too sure what that is. We got the bag. Alright, so we're going to start equipping some of the items. We got armor. We're just gonna push auto equip and it equips everything. I don't know why they didn't tell us that from the beginning. And it did change our weapon. It, it made us equip a, a weapon and instantly gave us a different weapon. So I don't know what's up with that. But there is the rarities. We got rare. I actually like the heroic and legendary look compared to the mythic. They just tried to put too much stuff into that helm. Mo most likely the other sets are probably going to look a lot better, but uh, alright, so here, here is our actual character. We do only have two skills, and the skills work a little bit different in this one. Normally, you would get them as you level, like skill one would be level five or level one or whatever, and so on and so forth, until you get all four skills. But in this case, it's actually linked to the weapon you actually have. Currently, I have an ice weapon, which is why it's ice abilities so if you had a fire weapon it would be fire i think there's lightning dark there's like a different assortment of actual abilities you can get but uh, you would have to have a i think a legendary to actually have all four skills because right now we're using a rare item so yeah in order to obtain the four skills you probably had to have a legendary unless you have a really good 
rare that comes with multiple skills, but for the most part, you're probably not going to need it right away. I don't know what a mythic would actually give you, though. Because if you already have four skills with a legendary weapon, I guess the mythic would just give you a boost. A bigger boost, apparently. Maybe some sort of attribute. I like how the weapons actually reflect the actual weapon you're using. So I'm using ice, you can see the mist or ice-like ar around the blade. A little bit laggy, but that, I think that's on my part. And those are the two skills we currently have. I don't know if you can actually level them up or how that actually works. So we haven't actually got that far as of yet, but... Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see some of the actual weapons we can actually obtain. Considering they're all sort of different. I mean, most of them are going to have, like, the same abilities, but... I wonder if, uh... Like, two different fire weapons are going to be a little bit different than the other one. So, like, have different abilities. Because these two abilities I have now for this weapon. So I gotta find another ice weapon to actually find that out. Or I wonder if just all the fire weapons have the same ability, all the ice have the same one as well. We do have the HP right there next to our attacks as well if we do need it. Although the HP in this one works a little bit different. You can't just buy them. Well, you buy them, but they're a lot more expensive in this game than they are in other games. But when you actually use them, currently I only have five. I don't know if you can have more than that, but if you actually use them or use one, it recharges. I think it's an hour it takes to actually recharge one of them. So you don't actually have to spend anything on it, but I think you can only have five. So... Not too sure how that works out. We do have the diamonds up at the top. I don't know what those are going to be costing, but I guess we'll get into it here in a minute. We got some daily achievements, weekly achievements, and monthly achievements, which is going to be nice. The daily ones are probably going to be a lot easier compared to the monthly 740 crystals total. Oh, they're actually crystals. Looks like a diamond to me. I don't know why they just didn't put diamonds, but... Alright, so here's the gear. We do have normal gear, which these are going to cost the metals. And each one of them is... Actually, it looked like they were all 30. So that's for the weapon, the chest, and armor. And then the other one's for the accessory. These are 30 apiece, but you have a chance starting at a rare up to a mythic, so it's probably better to save up the 300 and try the times 11 most likely. And it's going to be 30 crystals for basically 3 bucks. Damn, that's some pretty expensive uh, equipment. Although you don't really have to purchase anything, because as you can see, you do obtain crystals as you continue to play, so... You could either purchase it or not. We do have packs as well. We got some offers popping up, which we're not going to be getting into, because I'm not going to be buying any of them, but... Uh, yeah, it does look like a pretty interesting game to actually get into. We still have stuff that we haven't unlocked, so we're probably going to unlock those as we continue to level. Currently level 4, and yeah, we do have some different blades, although the highest one currently is the ice one. We have uh, two fire ones, and I think that's lightning, although we're going to be using that one because it's telling us to use it, so I can't actually find that out. We do actually get some extra stats off of that. I don't know how that works. For the abilities, I don't know if you're going to be able to obtain more because we do have two on the ice one. So I don't know if you can actually unlock a third one. Or if we're going to have to obtain a legendary to actually get multiple skills. 
yeah, let me know what you think of the game in the comments below. I will be playing it a little bit more. See how the game actually plays out. Late game. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any other games, please let me know in the comments below. I will try to get to them as soon as I possibly can. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you guys later.